In terms of technological advancements, the US military has a long history of being at the forefront. For instance, under Admiral Rickover's direction, the US Navy pioneered the use of nuclear power as a propulsion system in the 1940s, which eventually led to the construction of nuclear power plants for civilian use. With their robotic inventions and their numerous applications across the whole infrastructure of the organization, the military is currently taking the lead in the march towards the future. The military spending on robotics jumped from $17 million in 2015 to $379 million in 2021, according to National Defense magazine. That number is only rising as robots take on more and greater significance in every aspect of military operations. The military continues to be a source of robotics training for soldiers who can then continue their education onto a rewarding career in manufacturing following discharge. Of course, more robots always mean a higher demand for people to work with those robots. While building, sanding and maintaining gear and equipment remains the primary duty of robots in the military, there are some extremely exciting advancements being made with robots that have more active responsibilities. For the five most cutting-edge army robots available right now, make sure to watch this video entirely till the end. But first, in order to make sure that you never miss another video or our upload, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Now that said, let's get started. Number 5. The Dogo Man The tactical tractor robot named Dogo has a mission gross weight of only 12 kilograms, yet it's equipped with 8 360-degree cameras, a fully loaded G-Lock 26 pistol, Picatinny rail, mounted accessories, and enough battery power to last for a 2-5 to five hour operation. The little, light robot is able to traverse rough ground and climb stairs. In comparison to human warfighters, robots have some benefits. Although the robot has limited pursuit capabilities, employing two doggo in mutual cover would keep the target covered even when the robots were pursuing, trying to flee or engaging the target. The little covert robot is made to be effective against targets higher than it. Dogo can aim its weapon very low at targets that are lying on the ground or hidden under a bed or aim to strike a standing person at close range. A 9mm Glock 26 compatible integral locking casing is a feature of the robot. The weapon's 14 cartridges are fully loaded and it may be instantly attached to the doggo using a remote-controlled safe arm mechanism. The General Robotics created Ranger remote-controlled unit is used to operate the doggo robot. With a point-and-shoot interface, the RCU's joystick controls let the user direct the robot's weapon toward a target by touching it as it appears on the screen. Operators have shown that they can bring the weapon and fire five bullets in two seconds after receiving only brief instruction on the device. Number 4. Gladiator The Gladiator tactical unmanned ground vehicle, which resembles a small tank and can be equipped with a variety of modular tools and armaments depending on the situation, is intended to support the US Marine Corps in a variety of operations. Although it has a top speed of 10 miles per hour, the Gladiator sacrifices speed for robustness. It has an armored shell and users can place machine weapons and grenade launchers directly on its body. The RDT and E initiative to create technologies that significantly improve the performance, capabilities and affordability of the Gladiator was financed between 2002 and 2004 by the OSD Joint Robotics Program and the Office of Naval Research. A Gladiator system prototype was created by a team led by Carnage Mellon University and it was successfully tested in February and July of 2004. Robotic mobility and robotic scouting respectively were the main topics of both demos. The Robotics Systems Joint Project Office in Huntsville, Alabama held a competitive procurement in the system development and demonstration program following the successful end of the ONR program. The plan entailed creating six prototype Gladiator vehicles. Completing the Gladiator design and delivering these vehicles to the Marines in 2006, together with the necessary support materials for operational evaluation, a $26.4 million SDD contract was given to the Carnage Mellon University by RSJPO on February 7, 2005. The Carnage Mellon team is working with its main subcontractor, BAE Systems, to design and create a Gladiator system that complies with the Marine Corps' standards. Liking the video so far? Then go like, share and subscribe now! Number 3. Mars – Strong, Modular and Prepared for Battle the Modular Advanced Armed Robotic System, or MARS, is an unmanned ground vehicle created primarily for reconnaissance, surveillance and target acquisition missions and to improve the protection of soldiers manning advanced positions. In addition to being able to carry either a direct fire or indirect fire weapon system, MARS can be placed in remote locations where personnel are currently unable to supervise their security. Agile and combat ready, 
Mars efficiently carries out security operations while ensuring that warfighters are kept a safe distance from hostile fire. With the use of Mars, our STA sensors can be remotely placed in dangerous areas up to several kilometers away, allowing for both early warning and, if necessary, an immediate response. In addition to being able to carry either a direct fire or indirect fire weapon system, Mars can be deployed in remote locations where workers are currently unable to oversee their security. With several onboard day and night cameras, motion detectors and acoustic microphone, a hostile fire detection system and a loudspeaker system with siren for maximum situational awareness and alarm, Mars is remotely operated by an operator outfitted with a lightweight, wearable control unit. When the rules of engagement demand it, Mars can even offer a variety of choices for escalating the use of force, including non-lethal lasers, dazzlers and oral deterrents, less than lethal grenades, lethal fire from the grenade launcher and medium machine guns. Due to the fact that it can only be used when given properly coded instructions by its operator, Mars is also very secure and tamper-proof. Strong and durable, Mars provides unparalleled modularity together with a one-of-a-kind capability to remotely position cutting-edge sensors and force application tools to significantly improve the security of forward bases and outposts. Number 2. Safir A prototype of the US Navy's shipboard autonomous firefighting robot has been presented. When we last saw Sapphire, it was a little more than an aluminium core with two legs, but today it's more closely resembling the cutting-edge firefighting humanoid that it was initially intended to be. According to Thomas McKenna, program manager for the Office of Naval Research, we set out to build and demonstrate a humanoid capable of mobility aboard a ship, manipulating doors and fire hoses, and equipped with sensors to see and navigate through smoke. McKenna made the statement yesterday at the Naval Future Force Science and Technology Expo. The long-term objective is to protect sailors from the risk of direct fire exposure. 5 foot 10 inches tall and weighing 143 pounds, Safir was created by Virginia Tech researchers. The robot can see through thick smoke thanks to stereo infrared sensors and revolving laser and other technology. Safir, unlike DARPA's Atlas robot, can't stand untethered but can handle a fire hose and move slowly. Those movements are created controlled at the moment by humans. During a test experiment in November, Safir and a small drone cooperated, according to Engadget, to find fires and map out the area's terrain. The quadcopter DC-21 employs infrared sensors and cameras. It then communicates this information to the robot. The Navy is attempting to enhance Safir's speed, intelligence and communication capabilities as well as develop more sophisticated sensors. The DC-21's makers also intend to extend its battery life, which now only lasts for five minutes. The ultimate objective of Safir is to collaborate with Navy commanders rather than to take their place. Human robot teams are what we're aiming towards, McKenna added. We refer to it as the hybrid force since people and robots are cooperating. Number 1. The Robo-B Robots modeled after insects that could be useful in high-resolution weather, climate and environmental monitoring as well as in search and rescue operations, surveillance and crop pollination. Researchers at the Weiss Institute are creating Robo-Bees, artificial systems that could play many different functions in agriculture or disaster relief inspired by the biology of a bee. A Robo-Bee uses artificial muscles made of materials that contract when a voltage is applied to it. It's roughly half the size of a paperclip and weighs less than one-tenth of a gram. Some rubber bee models have additional modifications that enable them to fly and perch on surfaces utilizing static electricity, creating autonomous micro-aerial vehicles that are capable of self-contained, self-directed flying and attaining coordinated behavior in large groupings was the inspiration of the rubber bee project. The body, brain and colony are the three primary parts that make up the evolution of the robo bee in this sense. Robotics insects with integrated power sources are built as part of the body growth process. These insects can fly on their own. The colony's concentration is on organizing the behavior of many separate robots so they work as an efficient unit. Brain development is concerned with smart sensors and controlled circuitry that replicate the eyes and antennae of a bee and can sense and respond dynamically to the surroundings. In order to build rubber bees, Wise Institute researchers created novel manufacturing techniques employing so-called pop-up microelectromechanical MEM technologies, which have already significantly pushed the frontiers of existing robotics design and engineering. 
it's possible to license RoboBees for use in every area. Which one of these is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.